some of this blind claiming of realms that you have not gotten to by growth is only a mockery of your spiritual life settle with god stay with god john wesley said set yourself on fire and the nations will come to watch you born that is true hallelujah are we together my beloved is the most beautiful among thousands and thousands my beloved is the most beautiful among thousands and thousands yes you Sing it one more time. Yes, So essential number one for every call and every mandate is that you must have and understand and know how to effectively communicate the message given to you number two you must understand your pattern the pattern always controls the glory the pattern always controls the glory the lord told moses in the book of leviticus he says this is what the lord command that ye should do and the glory shall appear unto you so the pattern or the strategy for execution number three is the platform you need to build a platform Number four is resources. Number five, the backing. The fifth essential, the backing. In this case now, the anointing and the spiritual empowerment that support your call. Now you have told people you were called by God. When they come, it's time to prove it. No stories, no excuses. You said Jesus heals. They said we are here. You said carry all your sorrow and come. God sent me. They say here we are. You have no idea of the kind of sorrow I came to church with. So you should not be angry and give flimsy excuses because you told them God sent you. And in as much as you are a student learning and we continue and remain students, there is a minimum level of efficiency that if you have not attained, do not call people. You will only be calling people to embarrass yourself. Are we together? Yes. The backing. Matthew 10 and verse 1. Matthew 10 and verse 1. Jesus, when he had called unto him the 12 disciples, the Bible says he gave them power. Someone say power. What did he give them? He did not just give them a message. He gave them power so if you receive the message don't start running wait till the power to prove the message comes to it is dangerous to run with the message alone the message without power will make you look like a liar because there are forces that have been sent by hell to make sure the message on your lips sounds like a lie the assignment of power is to insist that what you are saying is true listen carefully now this is a ministry of power you know that already so i mean is you breathe the air of power and the supernatural is a mandate that god should not listen to me listen to me don't blame people if they don't take pay attention to you let me tell you more than the message or in addition to the message you must obtain empowerment by the spirit micah 3 and verse 8 micah chapter 3 and verse 8 it says but truly i am full of power by the spirit of the lord i'm not just full of a message i am full of power power to heal power to deliver power to restore power to rewrite the negative narratives over people's lives the back in Acts chapter 1 and verse 8 having mentored them for a period of three and a half years 
he's about to release them officially and he left them with this message but ye shall receive power that means you can reject power because he didn't say you shall have he said you shall receive after that the holy ghost is come upon you and ye shall be witnesses unto me it takes power more than a message or in addition to a message to be a witness in acts chapter 4 and verse 33 it's a popular scripture in this house and with great power gave the apostles witness of the resurrection of the lord jesus and great grace was upon them all someone shout power this may be the missing link for someone maybe i'm speaking prophetically to a man of god maybe i'm speaking prophetically to a leader there is nothing wrong with your call you have stayed well to obtain the strategy can i tell you sincerely integrity of character is important but it is not enough to get the job done you need to understand your message and my goodness you need power especially in today's world you are a man of god you are hearing me god may be revealing to you that this is the missing link it's not like your call is not genuine you have not stayed and held on to the four horns of the altar until he said tarry ye in jerusalem don't rush without power it's a risk Oh, power has come. Oh, your power has come. Oh, In the school of power there is no ignorance of his arrival mm -mm. it's impossible for power to come and you do not know when power came from elijah to elisha he turned immediately and said where is the lord god listen there are things that take time to manifest power is not one of them as power arrives it starts speaking immediately i can tell you this Oh, 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 oh. I, 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 Listen, we can spend a vigil this night as I tell you several sessions of impartations of genuine power from heaven. I, I can tell you stories upon stories. I can tell you graces and how they came and when they came. Your destiny must know what grace has arrived. You can't keep acting powerless and wondering why increase is not coming. It's a right from the days of John and up until now the kingdom suffered violence it takes more than eloquence more than oratory you need power power against power above power that compels compliance hear me it takes power to see it takes power to hear and then it takes power to speak it takes power to compel people to leave their homes and their nations to come and hear you you must be joking just to believe it, it takes more than value my dear people no. for people to ignore tribal sentiments ignore all kinds of interracial sentiments and stay to place a demand on the grace upon your life it takes power i know you are a prophet but the missing link is power i know there is an apostolic call evolving but the missing link is power i know you are a ceo i do not doubt your wisdom but there is power your speaking is like a lecture there is no power listen hear me 
when i say power i don't just mean falling down and shouting power is the capacity to bring evidence to your speakings the ability to bring solutions power the bible says where the carcasses are is that in your bible it says there the eagles will gather the world has not yet invented technology to ignore power no the world has not gone to that level where they see power and and and, and throw it away no sir the day god uses you to do something spectacular in the life of your family members by themselves they will say god called you listen our fathers who have joined the cloud of witnesses today when you read the stories of men like apostle babalola they didn't just come to say i am called you are joking you don't bring cards and say take invite me no your power is your card genuine authentic apostolic power not manipulations and games look at the testimony of the gentleman who came here i came in and i heard very touching testimony a matured adult having that kind of thing never downplay the extent of problems that people have let me tell you when you become a solution by power you have caught the attention of a generation not assumed power not power with a lot of noise and then when it is now time for performance this is what we largely do respectfully speaking in the body of christ there is a lot of noise of what we claim we can do but in light of real results everybody just chickens away no power genuine apostolic power jesus mentored them but it was not enough to release them and on the day of pentecost when that power fell upon them peter stood up and said this is that prophet joel spoke about it this is that let me stretch my hands over someone in the name of jesus let something from heaven come upon you let something from heaven come upon you i separate you from a natural life i separate you from a power a powerless life in the name of jesus hear me you are a man of god here receive power power from heaven not just power in ministry power in business any dimension of result takes power apostle why are people not coming to my store what do you think brings them what do you think brought the animals to the ark of noah a suggestion an announcement Before we get into the, the doctrinal pillars, this, this is just our pastor conference version. Oh, after that, we'll continue the message. Please pray in the spirit in one minute. Lord, power upon my life. Genuine power upon my life. Someone pray. Genuine power. The fire of the Holy Ghost. Outside, pray. All the overflows, pray. Power upon my life. Ministry with results, genuine results, business with results, genuine results, leadership with results, genuine results, the capacity to provide solutions beyond the realm of intellect. hallelujah 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 now before we continue i want to pray a very special prayer there is a group of people here i see that god this thing that we call the hearing ear and the seeing eyes the lord is asking me in under this atmosphere to impart that grace i stretch my hands some of you your dreams are dead your visions are dead i stretch my hands right now wherever you are all over this auditorium 
all the overflows men and women alike at the count of three i stretch my hands let a miracle happen to your eyes your hearing and your seeing one two three receive that grace now receive that grace now receive that grace now I revive visions in your life. I revive supernatural encounters in your life. Hallelujah. Please be seated. Please be seated. Please be seated. So these are the five essentials, five essentials, five essentials. Help two people that will start running now. I just saw this in a vision. Let there be an ignition upon your spirit man. Let there be an ignition upon your spirit man in the name of Jesus Christ. Let me do a one minute recap again. For any call, for any mandate and any commission from God to find expression, essential number one, you must understand the message and the mandate. A capture and a representation of your contribution. Number two, you must understand the strategy given to you by God for execution your pattern number three you must trust god for grace to build a platform a structure that gives you visibility for the sake of expression number four you must trust god to understand the dynamics that is responsible for accessing resources human and material resources and number five you must stay until something from heaven lands on your life the backing from heaven Moses said if your presence will not go with us hear me if your presence will not go with us don't say I'm a preacher you are entering a land where witchcraft has been there for a long time and the only thing you came to give them is just stories you are joking see with all due respect there are many missionaries that travel to regions they just carried Bibles and carried malaria drugs without power as soon as they got there some of them did not even wake up the next day because we are dealing with spirits it takes more than welfare to transform people we are talking of people who have been hijacked and kept as slaves under the bondage of satan You know in the body of christ there is a lot of gyration we talk so much you will the the amount of power that sometimes those i desire the power of the holy spirit sincerely that's what drove me to reinhard bonkers crusade even after my encounter with god i said lord that evangelistic power that grants a man grace to come to africa from germany 
and sweep across Africa that grace when it landed I said that's right let me submit to you hear me with all due respect if I speak at this level and by the grace of God I don't think I'm speaking in pride we don't have everything but there are some things we have let me counsel my generation please obtain grace from God to go back to the secret place our noise without power is too much we are only going to embarrass ourselves this is not how we started I believe that there is a generation that is rising they are not yet known there are people hiding in the secret place and building capacity men who will be like gods men who will not talk about power they will demonstrate the reality of the power of the Holy Spirit you will see healings like never before you will see resurrections like never before power that will win a whole nation in one day let your power fall in this place let your healing in this place, we ask for signs and wonders. Let your power flow. Anointing, anointing, follow me. In one minute lay your hands on your head and say lord i'm available as as you are empowering men with this end time mantle father do not pass me by do not pass me by how can i run an apostolic ministry without genuine empowerment from heaven a prophetic ministry without genuine and leadership without empowerment how can I rise as an Esther without empowerment hallelujah hallelujah hi dear thank you for watching this wonderful video in case you have been mightily blessed by the Lord through his word and by his servant apostle joshua selman i would like you to please hit on the subscribe button and then strike the notification bell to stay updated for our recent updates and post videos that will get your spirit soul and body uplifted and rich and blessed for mighty exploits and great intimacy with the lord i would like you to also share this video with your loved ones with friends with family members so as to get them blessed and connected 
stay in touch with us. See you in the next content. God bless you. Okay.